A hundred day journey spanning 30,000 kilometers. Braving relentless storms, rain, snow, and sandstorms. From London to India as part of a safe soil campaign. Its aim is to activate the support of over 3.5 billion people. To change the world and make it a better place. It's a great pleasure for me, these beautiful Caribbean nations are going for this first. This memorandum of understanding that we are signing, it will also bring some technical assistance to the Caribbean region. This is a historic moment because here is the first step to turn around. And talking about soil, you are on a mission. This 100-day motorcycle journey um, inspiring the world. It is not about the motorcycle, it's not about the journey, it's not about the song, it is about moving people on the planet. Make it happen, huh? Yeah. What you're doing today is really important because people like you who have a wonderful following of millions and millions of people and what you're doing with that is so important with saving the soil. It's an extraordinary campaign. It echoes what we in the Commonwealth have been aspiring to do for a number of years. Nobody spoke about soil like Sai Guru does. If we all contribute, then we have a really strong voice. There has been so much excitement and everybody is so excited to hear Sadhguru. Just to meet Sadhguru was a huge honor and tonight was so, so educational. For me, really things that I can utilize how to, what to do, what to actually do for us as individuals but also for us as a society, what we can now do to create change around saving soil. It's our common issue together. It's not for one nation, for one person, but uh, we as people have to unite and uh, to solve this. All of us have been part of this destruction. The only way is all of us become part of the solution also. Thank you, Riding on to Italy. Italy is raining heavily tonight. Ah, the rain and the cold, getting my knees all burned up. Metros and motorcycles don't really like each other much. The most dangerous thing has been the winds. Sometimes winds were gusting around sixty-five knots. So literally my front wheel was just lifting up like it's a balloon. The wind, the cold, the challenges are there every day, every day for Sadhguru. It's literally death and life situation. It, it must be very taxing on his body. Of course he doesn't um, show so much of it, but we see him in a lot of pain. In this cold, slippery road and winds are picking up speed, no matter what the hell, I have to keep going. You think this is a problem? Relentless commitment to what you do, that is the only solution. Over two thousand years ago, this eternal city made the mistake of overfarming the region and that was also the fall of the city at that time. So, the Romans of today should never make that mistake once again. So it's like uh, a wave of hope. It's necessary for the future. And we are very happy that we are aligned in our message to uh, really hide the profile of soils. 
Young people getting into farming is very good. That's the yes. future of the world. Thank you. I think there, it's a message of urgency, but it's also a message of hope. So I'd really like to thank Sadhguru for his leadership. The global movement led by him addresses the soil crisis by mobilizing people around the entire world. An MOU to be signed between Isha Foundation and four per thousand initiative soils for food security and climate. Sadhguru, so, what you are doing is really impressive. I'm quite amazed and thrilled by it. His mission is uh, what we need. France has been great. We should all stand up and make the most impact we can to create a real change in the world. Save the soil. Get the bottom! A smashing evening at the main event. And a super enthusiastic crowd committing themselves to make this happen. This is heartwarming to see everybody come together. Save soil on the moon. Let's make it happen. Just look up the news and see in the last four months, how many governments have started talking about soil because they see it's picking up momentum. But if you create three to four billion people talking about soil, that's it. That will be the main conversation in the government. Save the Soil is a very important movement that we support as UNCCD. We need to do everything to protect it and uh, prevent harm to the soil. Join Sadhguru in his movement. We are all with him. Save Soil, let's make it happen. The Education Ministry in Germany has now come into the picture officially and asked all the children to do artwork to support Safe Soil Movement. Good, Arjun. Wonderful. Congratulations that you wrote to the Prime Minister. Let's make it happen! These days, the modern mothers, if children go and put their hands in the soil and come, they say, your hands are dirty. No, they are not dirty. You are touching the source of your life. Well, the road surface is not great. Morning it was below zero, there was snow flurries. These are uh, nations with uh, much older cars and trucks and I see a lot more oil slicks on the road. Water, oil, motorcycle, boom, doesn't go well. I think there is a great potential for a good collaboration, partnership with the campaign Save Soil and what we are doing as a government. I totally agree with you. Your activity in the world will change the way of view of the policymakers. People from Istanbul were really amazed by Sakuru to appear and they were just so happy to see him. This many people, if all of you are committed, I think I don't have to go on riding like crazy. Yesterday I rode 18 hours, can you believe this? He's been riding through very, uh, you know, rough terrain, rough, rough roads, dusty construction sites. It was a long drive and we were getting a little late for the live event at Tbilisi. He, right at the end, uh, maybe five minutes before the event, uh, decided that he couldn't stop for a break. In the traffic, he was just removing his jacket and gloves and throwing in the car just to make it on time.
The whole purpose of this moment is to first to bring this home that when you walk upon the soil, you know it is the source of your life. Keeping it alive is the most important thing. Will you make it happen? God for, for the people, for the earth, yes. for the soil. We must save the soil, we must plant the trees, we must replenish the forest, we must save our planet. Hopefully we will make it through the sand. Locals are warning us, no, no, no. But you know, we are one big ass. <laughs> this is not for us, this is for him and his generation. Here in Palestine, wonderful to be here. I salute you and I respect your initiative and my full support of what is needed from the Palestinian side. When it comes to agriculture, when it comes to soil, when it comes to soil ecology, our national borders mean nothing because microorganisms operate as a global system. Well, it's very, very I can tell you as a motorcycle driver, I also like motorcycles and it's not easy. It's devoted and this is what makes him so impressive and so it touches people. one of the world's voices and leaders on soil conservation and land. It's extremely important. It must be a single point agenda, incentive-based agenda. I don't want this COP15 to end as one more convention with more paper and more paper. This must end with concrete action, and action in such a way that it is implementable. There is no word to describe what Sadhguru is doing for us. You honor the country, you honor the people of this country. Thank you. And on behalf of the head of state, it's my pleasure. <laughs> I want to thank you very much. It's a great yeah. privilege. Thank you very much. If we act as one humanity, in the next 10, 15 years, we can turn this around. As for the Muslim World League, we are completely ready to help you. We have already loved you a lot. We have we even loved you even before seeing you. And when we saw you, we even fell in love even more. <laughs> Just leaving Riyadh, <laughs> riding into a, some kind of a dust storm. It's an honor to have you here in this location, in the heart of Bahrain, in this ancient harbor. His thoughts and philosophies goes across all cultures and religions. Whatever he says, we believe in it as Muslims, and I'm, I'm sure all the Christians who are here believe in what he says. I think it's time for us all to rally as people behind soil and understand that it is our common ground. 930 kilometers, which means uh, probably we'll have to ride the whole night. But already, sand, minute particles of sand is in every pore of my body. <laughs> so much for being here with us, Sadhguru, on this, on this wonderful journey. The UAE is partnering with you on safe soil, such an important cause. Safe soil is surely a cause that we can all fully endorse. My dear brother Sadhguru, I would like to thank you for including the United Arab Emirates in your inspiring journey. 
Saving soil is one of the most important things on the planet right now. I'm here to save soil. I have joined the Save the Soil movement. Uh, as a chief minister, I should lead from the front. He is uh, doing it even before I reach Karnataka. <laughs> <laughs> How do we leverage the collective mind of farmers to make it a more impactful movement? If you assemble 500,000 people in your place, our people will come there and uh, tell them how to go about it. is hot, the seat is getting very hot, my clothes are hot, I'm the only cool one out here. <laughs> describe what it means to be back in India. It's a very proud moment to have amidst us the saviour of the soil. You are in Gujarat since two days. How did you feel about People are cool, but the weather is hot. <laughs> Will you promise me in the next hundred years' time, we'll make the weather also cool for future generations? for you only, okay? While we were shooting and uh, sitting in, in a car, we could see the kind of discomfort that he was uh, going through. Especially once he went through Rajasthan, the heat was simply unbearable. And the roads that he has to drive on while it's that hot, there are just bumps, sometimes there are potholes, vehicles which are going against the traffic, cattle that are just crossing the road, people that are crossing the road. People used to mob him. We can understand it's it's out of love, but still it's too dangerous. As uh, the Prime Minister has taken up the Solar Alliance, I think there's an immense opportunity after talking to various leaders around the world, I realize India and uh, the Prime Minister of India could take up the leadership of soil regeneration in India and the world. Sadhguruji ne yatra ki, dunia ko mitti ke pati sneh to pada hua hi hoga, लेकिन भारत की मिट्टी की ताकत का भी परिचय मिला हो। As a capital city, you have a more important responsibility than anybody else. Will you keep it up for the next few months till this policy happens? Let's make it happen. La 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 la
मुझे लगता है उत्तर प्रदेश की पच्चीस करोड़ जनता इस पूरे अभियान के साथ जुड़ेगी मैं ये वचन देता हूं कि मिट्टी बचाओ अभियान में आपके पीछे हम कदम से कदम और कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर साथ चलेंगे नियरली मंथ इन द डेजर्ट लैंड फर्स्ट टेस्ट ऑफ मॉनसून एज वी Enter Maharashtra. It's a welcome rain. Twenty-five thousand four hundred and six kilometers to Nashik. Right now, my motorcycle is raining land. We drove pretty much through the night, so that we could make make it to Bombay. And that day, it rained also. His T-shirt was fully drenched. He's riding through the night. There was just no break for him. He's just constantly riding, riding, riding. We are committed to this cause, and I'm here to say that Maharashtra, a place so bad, is Isha Foundation just so bad, and we save soil just so bad. the recent situation we have observed the intolerance and hate what are the solution for this intolerance a lot of tension is largely on the television studios if you walk through the streets of pune you won't find any tension As a government, we have not only signed the MOU. I promise that we will do everything under the command to save soil. So, uh, as I park here, it's twenty-seven thousand eight hundred and fifty-four kilometers. here and it's cool i thought once i land in india it's going to be better but gujarat was competing with muscat <laughs> rajasthan was competing with saudi arabia but this is the first time i'm experiencing a cool breeze in the next month and a half at least 21 to 22 nations i'm traveling because the next level of action needs to happen now somewhere between 12 to 18 months most nations we can push them towards making some kind of soil regeneration policy but for this your voices should rise and stay raised at least for next 12 months 
this is your daily puja, that for ten to twelve minutes a day, you will spread the soil message.